you know, I would imagine I've thought more about what happened than all of you put together. I've lost more sleep than all of you put together. Hillary Clinton stood her ground today before the Congressional Committee investigating the Benghazi attacks from her time as Secretary of State. Her long-awaited testimony shed more fireworks than light on the 2012 assault on the U.S. consulate in Libya that took the lives of the U.S. ambassador and three other Americans. We're going to pursue the truth in a manner worthy of the memory of the four people who lost their lives and worthy of the respect of our fellow citizens. And we are going to write that final definitive accounting of what happened in Benghazi. But the hearing soon devolved into a familiar partisan argument that's dominated American politics for much of the last three years. Chairman Trey Gowdy and his fellow Republicans pressed Clinton for answers, drilling down on the email she sent as Secretary of State. My question is, how did you decide when to invoke a people in process and who just got to come straight to you? Because it looked like certain things got straight to your inbox and the request for more security did not. It was this committee that first discovered Clinton's use of a private email account. The controversy has consumed her presidential campaign, shining a bright light on her leadership. Her longtime friend, Sidney Blumenthal, was front and center in the discussion. Republicans wondering why she exchanged so many emails with him. We just heard email after email after email about Libya and Benghazi that Sidney Blumenthal sent to the Secretary of State. You need to make sure the entire record is yeah, correct, and Mr. That's what, and that's exactly what I want to do. But Clinton and Democrats on the committee aggressively fought back. Here's the bottom line. The select committee has spent 17 months and $4.7 million of taxpayer money. We've held four hearings and conducted 54 interviews and de depositions. The day-long hearing was a spectacle with extraordinarily high stakes for Clinton. The Benghazi attack and all of its fallout is one of the biggest uncertainties hanging over her presidential candidacy. 